I knew this was going to be about Kunikita, and I know I like Kunikita anyway because of his voice actor being Asahi. It's my boy. But uh, with this one being called the love for the disease called Ideals, I know it's going to be a little deeper into Kunikita, and I'm just I'm excited about it. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs. Like I said, Season 1, Episode 7. This one should be interesting. We left off last episode. Um, we found out that the informant we've been using, Rokuzo, his father was one of the five detectives who, thanks to Kunikita's tip on the Azure King, led to a kind of unorganized raid on the on, on the location of where he was being held or where he was hiding and he in i don't want to say self-defense because absolutely not but in some sort of crazy attempt he blew himself up killing rokuzo's father so kunikita feels guilty and now that we have a new request from the azure messenger to disarm this bomb that he, we have like a moral obligation to take care of it even if even if we didn't have this super specific personal connection we'd still do it obviously because the ada is just goats like that just solving crimes and cases but it is a lot deeper and i really enjoy how that kind of opened up because i was like who's this rokuzo guy you know i really don't know you really don't know anything about a lot of these people like Desai, i really don't know a lot about the cab driver who i thought was kind of cool for a second ends up being one of the you really don't know you really never know so with that being said we got to figure out what's going on i'm gonna hop right on into this don't forget though, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to click that bell, subscribe, so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel, and then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. TikTok too, if you guys want early access, all that jazz. Um, links for everything in the description down below. I appreciate you guys' support. Um, Bungo Straight Dogs, Season 1, Episode 7, Love for the Disease Called Ideals. Let's do this. Okay, so we're calling Rokuzo. Time is of the essence, I agree. <sighs> okay. Yeah, he's not wrong there. I feel for my man. Is this Desai and the lady we saved? I do as well, Atsushi. I love how Atsushi's always thinking weird stuff like this, you know. I was about to say, you can't get any more of that than Kunikita. Oh, stole the ideal book again. I Desai is a sleight of hand trickster. Oh, I didn't even get to read that. Okay. Heard back from Rampo. Back on back on serious mode. Let's do it. Valid observation. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that would be insane. Touche, touche, my detectives, ADA going ham. Hour and 13 minutes left on it. What's up with this little bobblehead on it? Oh, okay. I'm saying just blocking traffic for a phone call. Oh, 
I love the way they did the, the faces over and they do vertical or horizontal. That was really dope. President. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a power. Is someone able to kill him from a distance? That was a strong ass flashbang. See, what is this power? Give me your number. I'm sure you have a great number. And it's marked into his palm. 39. Hmm, if I had to assume it's another Port Mafia member? It's on his setting. We have till sunset. Was that 15 minutes? Thirty twenty to twenty one. Whoa, I can send people who have numbers in any direction I want, even if they're on the other side of the earth. And what's really? Hmm. I was about to say, I wonder if he could dopo poet that key. I'm curious what all he can create with that. I need to know the conditions of his power too. Oh my god, this guy is big as fuck. Oh my god. Heavy hitter. I love the music that plays too. What did that just say? Wire gun. Ooh, okay, kick off on the wire gun. Switch spots? Because he can cancel his power, right? He can turn that shit off. So Kunikita's not gonna die in, in wreathing agony. Hey. Easy, ooh, crush his head. Okay, so we're constantly questioning why they're partners, but on the other side, their partnership is amazing, and they work in tandem really well. He's going to create the key, right? Anything I've laid my eyes on, that's what I was curious, and understood its form and function. He's kind of like uh, Yao Yorozu from My Hero. He needs, she needs to understand like the chemical makeup, the alk, alk, you know. Oh, really? It's limited. Okay, so that's why flashbangs, wire gun, other small things he can create readily. Good. I love getting conditions and stuff of powers. Yeah, that is a very rough thing to think about. I wonder what's going on in Kurikita's head right now. Is this back at the abandoned hospital? Is it going to be Rokuzo? With some deep seated need for vengeance? Okay, it's not Rokuzo. He just happened to. He just happened to look. Okay. I was like, damn, I. Yeah, 
と思うよあなたがこの呪文を犯罪に使うのは初めてじゃないの私はどうにかその理屈を叶えてあげたかった。Oh, her husband is the Azure King! He got fucking Misa Misa out here! <laughs> is that a thing? Has there ever been an instance where someone's eye was so reflective you can catch who's recording them? That's fucking terrifying to think about. Enhance and zoom, enhance, but like, it really be anyone out here. I'm over here thinking, oh, Kunikita is finally about to get a date, finally about to ask this girl out. She wants ID, you know, and it makes sense when she's talking about I need someone to stick their I to their ideals. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Especially on the murder on D Street one, this show is really good at laying out. Little bitty clues, little bitty clues like that that I never would pick up on, you know. Very sophisticated. I'm worried about Rokuzo though, he just got blasted. Rokuzo can. In self defense, is he gonna pick up that gun? I don't know. <laughs> he dropped it to Rokuzo, right? Yeah. And technically, that's, I mean, that is self defense. I don't know, legality, you know, but. That's how it goes sometimes, man. You, you really can't assign blame. No one was really wrong. Justice is a deep concept in and of itself. Justice is a weapon. It can be used to... That's, oh, that's crazy. I get both sides. I get both sides completely. But this is rough, man. Damn, this is okay. <laughs> okay, man. God damn. Well, like I said at the beginning, I was shocked that even the cab driver was involved. And then I was even shocked when Rokuzo was involved, but he wasn't, so I was glad about that. And then it ended, I didn't even write her name down, because I thought she was just going to be a witness in last episode, and that was literally going to be it. She ended up being behind the whole thing due to her and her significant other. I don't know if they were husband or boyfriend or whatever, but due to her partner's ideals and... Uh, a sense of justice to you know keep him it's just you know Dazai is correct I Kunikita is also correct like he's your ideal honorable sense of justice but honor and justice can only go so far in the real world like in her and it, it technically all depends on mindset that's literally why I agree with Kunikita where he said did it have to end like this is when when does it stop when does the killing stop who's right who was wrong but you think about it her boyfriend believed he was doing something right for the world it wasn't a wrong way obviously but he believed he was doing something right she believed him as well so when he was cornered by police and and took his own life for his ideals she took that as like righteous injustice in the world because of how straight towards his ideals he was and though so she carried on also thinking she's in the right because you know it's just like but it, it's just it gets complicated like that's why when you look at like actual criminal cases and actual issues in the real world today where I don't want to say people were mis imprisoned, falsely imprisoned, but you'll see something where it's like, it was justice really served here? Was this really needed? You know, like there's many, many cases of injustices in the world. And it's just, I respect Kunikita for saying, yes, I'm going to push past and deal and, you know, deal with it. But it's also that is an ideal world and we don't live in an ideal world so it's like it's rough i get i get both sides fantastic episode though i really like the music i really like the visuals the artistic choices in this show are, are very well done i really like them creatively um and i love how like this one happened to be a two episode arc but again like it really is serialized like tv like it's just like these individual cases getting to know individual characters solving like an act what a crime agency would actually be doing so i'm down and i i, I really enjoyed this one let me see if I have any questions over here on the Q&A section. I do. If you guys don't know, I have a Q&A section on the Discord where you can ask me questions and I will answer it. 
This one comes from Roshni. He says, in episodes one and two, we saw a bunch of ADA members and their powers. Their power names sometimes, their power names are sometimes very ambiguous. So depending on how far you are into the show and whose powers haven't been revealed yet, what do you think some of the members' powers will be? It's a good point. Um, good question, I should say. Well, I really, I really like Rampo's power, not power. It's just him being fucking smart. There's the guy who always wears the straw cowboy hat. Hmm. He was the one tossing the black lizard squad out of the window. He seems like super confident, super young, super strong, but I've, ah, that's the thing about, you're right. They're very ambiguous. I really have no idea what their powers are. I know, um, Yosano, I'm pretty sure her name is. She's a doctor of some sorts because she was working on um, uh, Tanizaki, but I don't, I'm guessing it has to do with healing, but maybe it's like a sadist, maybe she has to like, fuck you while she's, I don't know, that was just, I have literally no idea, but, hmm, Desai's, I really like Desai's power, I really like Kunikita's power as well, and Atsushi, I, and I want to guess the president's power as well, but I want to see his power too, I want to see all their powers, I was really blown away by what's his name, his number power, like I needed to know the conditions, how he set the number, what's the limit, if there's any downsides, because if all he has to do is keep you trapped in that circle for like two seconds, then he can fucking do whatever, that's fucking strong, you know what I'm saying? But thank you for the question, Roshni. I just got to see more of them. I don't know. It's, it is very hard. Thank you, though. Um, on that note, I'm about to hop in this next episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your th let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, you guys want early access, full length, all that jazz, check out the Patreon down below. Don't forget, drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. I appreciate you guys. Peace out.